whether it be major or minor, have you ever been injured in a way where you couldn't work out? Have you ever been injured in such a way where you couldn't perform your most favorite exercises? How about having sustained an injury that still allows you to do your favorite movements, but you can no longer train intensely? You couldn't train the way you wanted to. What if you couldn't train intensely anymore? The question of intensity can be easily misunderstood. It can also be misunderstood by someone that is hurt. The way that something in your head, kind of the viewpoint you have, imagine that you are a power lifter and you kind of think in a certain way. You think of percentages, high percentages, 85, 90%. And then you know, maybe a bodybuilder, you kind of work in the higher repetition ranges, you know, 8 to 12, something like that, 6 to 8. And you're thinking in your head in a 60, 70%. Uh, maybe you're a CrossFitter and you think about work capacity, reps, and just getting the workout done as fast as possible. Maybe in Olympic lifting you think about exploding the weight off and catching the weight, standing up with the weight. There is someone out there in the world that has had your problem or your issue or have been in a very similar circumstance. And they figured out a way to work around it and still maintain and build strength and get to where they want to be. I think it's so often common that we get stuck in our world, we get so stuck in our programming, we get so stuck in our psychology or a philosophy of training that it kind of limits us our, our, it limits us to be able to train to keep up with everything that we can do. Are you really doing the best you can? And let's think about that for a second. When I say the best you can, that doesn't necessarily mean are you training as hard as you can. That could also mean training the best you can means are you resting enough? Are you foam rolling and stretching like you should? Are you doing everything in your power to heal faster? Are you doing everything in your power to maintain strength being injured or whether it be major or minor? One of my most recent challenges have been training the squat. Elbow pain has been a big issue, medial elbow pain. And it's basically made it to a point where I couldn't squat, I couldn't back squat anymore. And if I did back squat, my elbow would hurt so much that I couldn't even train overhead presses. It'd be difficult for me to do upper body movements and sort of at the sacrifice I've decided that I just quit squatting. And then later I thought to myself, let me try front squatting. And then even though I suck at front squats, I still managed a way to figure it out. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I can still front squat a decent amount of weight, which means this should help me maintain or maybe build even some strength and the, the problem with my front squats is that I can't do like more than two or three reps without the bar sliding too much and I have to readjust and I have to weight down so I thought why not I just do a bunch of singles and a bunch of a bunch of doubles take short periods of rest and just keep working on my leg strength the point of my video is that there's always a way to get better there's always a way find the next best thing if you can't do the best thing and if you can't do the next best thing you could do the next next best thing be creative with the time you have be creative with your situation and find the sources that allow for you to learn how to lift to strengthen the muscles that you need to strengthen to avoid the pain and the issues and the joint injuries or muscle injuries or whatever it may be life circumstance that's affecting your ability to do the most optimal thing if there's one thing for sure, doing nothing will make you weak. Watching TV, watching YouTube videos will make you weak if you do not work on your strength, if you do not work on the skills necessary to maintain your gains, to maintain your muscle. So you got to ask yourself this question if you're having trouble with an issue or if it comes, uh, comes in front of you again in the future. How or what can I do that, to maintain my XYZ strength? to maintain my deadlift strength, to maintain my bench press strength, although I'm dealing with elbow shoulder pain. What can I do? And that's the question. Be creative. Ask for ideas. Leave a comment. Ask a question. I will help you with some ideas if you don't know what you can't do if you're running into a problem because trust me, there is a way out there. And if you leave a comment below, I'll answer your question. Thanks for watching.